Hi there and welcome to Box Bets. It's week nine. And just to recap the past couple weeks, we went two and two in week seven. We also went two and two in week eight. Nothing great. The 49ers are on the bye week. That's why I'm upstairs. We got out of the cave. Get some light into our lives. Maybe we can see the board a little clearer. So if you've been following me this season, we're 14, 11, and 1. And we're 3, 2, and 1 in box bets. Best bets, that is. Now, this week, week 9, we got 13 games on the schedule. We also got a game in Germany. Now, last week, I didn't have time to make a video, but I still posted my picks on my Twitter. So if you're just looking for the picks, they'll be posted on Twitter under Box Talk Sports. I'll give you my picks. They're all spreads. As you know, take a look. Last two weeks, like I said, we're 500. Not great. We're in a bit of a lull. But as every bet good better knows, you got to ride out these waves, right? It's not a losing streak. It's just a bit of a lull. We're still 4-4 four and four over the last two weeks. We're positive for the year. So let's get into this week. First pick I like is an interesting one. Probably not a popular one. Minnesota in Atlanta plus 4.5. My rationale is no Kirk Cousins, blown Achilles, gone for the year. But they saw, traded for Dobbs. So they get in Dobbs from Arizona, who's been surprisingly decent. And I think this is a game where Joe Public just hammers Atlanta. They say, you know, they're at home, four and a half, easy win. Vikings are in disarray, Cousins out. But Dobbs is a pretty decent quarterback. You know, uh, Arizona has covered some games this year. And since their horrific start, they've actually won... Uh, I think three in a row, Minnesota. So they're on a roll. Yes, they're on the road, but Atlanta didn't look good. They got destroyed by the Titans last week. Will Levis, first game ever in his career. He's throwing bombs left and right. It was unbelievable. So take the Vikings with the new quarterback, Dobbs, with four and a half points. I can see Atlanta winning by a field goal, something like that. I can't see them winning over five points. Um... You know, they just don't have the offense. They turn the ball over too much. And Minnesota's just, you know, they're a team of adversity. Like, they started the season terrible. They've rebounded to 4-4. Four and four. Now their quarterback goes out. Look for them to keep rolling with the adversity and come out with a win or a tight loss. My second game I'm going to look at is the Browns. So the Browns are at home minus 8.5. It's a big boy. But they're playing Arizona who now is going to start a guy named of Toon. Never heard of this guy. Dobbs is gone. Murray isn't ready. He'll be back next week. So now they got this rookie in Cleveland in that brown slop to play the best yardage defense in the league. No, Arizona won't put up any points. Even if the Browns struggle to score. Okay, we got somebody here. She's coming in hot. What's this? Because she likes the Browns. Get down, Chanel. Chanel's a big Browns fan, right? She's a dog. She's brown. And she's telling me it's the Browns. So how can you go wrong with that? Browns minus eight and a half at home versus Zona. The next game is the Ravens. Ravens minus a half, five and a half against Seattle. Now, Seattle has looked good. You know, they pulled out a tight one against Arizona. Then they came back and pulled one out against the Browns. Their train of luck is going to stop this week. They're going into Baltimore. They're going to play Action Jackson. And these guys are beasts. Number one defense in the league. Look for the Ravens to just easily cover. Like I said, five and a half. Shouldn't be any problem. Now we get to the big boy games. You know, these games, these are the, the prime time television. The games we all wait for. We got... The 4.30 afternoon slot, Dallas-Philly. What a game. For the division, Philly is up by a game and a half, but Dallas needs this to keep in contention. Take Dallas with the three points, and that's going to be Box's best bet, and I'll tell you why. Philadelphia is a great team. They're 7-1. and one. They're the best record, but they haven't looked that good. You know, they, they squeaked Washington last week. They've had a couple blips. 
Hertz is turning the ball over more than he usually does. And I think it's Dallas's turn. They're the more aggressive team, I feel, that they're going to come out. They're the more desperate team. Dak has played well career-wise against the Eagles. Look for Dallas to roll into Philly and surprise, shock the world with a win. Take the points, though, because you know my motto. The points are there. We take them. Take the three points with Dallas on the road. And that brings us to the Sunday nighter, the big game. You remember last year, DeMar Hamlin, the big, you know, primetime game. He goes down. They canceled the game. Well, Buffalo is back in Cincinnati on Sunday night football, and I'm taking the Bills plus two. That's right. I think Josh Allen is going to have a game. Yeah, they've played like shit the last couple weeks. They stunk against the Giants. They reeked against the Patriots. And then they played a mediocre game against Tampa Bay. But Bills come to play against big teams in prime time, just like they did with Miami. And they're going to come into Cincinnati, which I know everybody's thinking, oh, Cincinnati, they beat your 49ers. What are you talking about? You know, easy. Joe Burrow looked fantastic. He did. But you got to remember also Seattle went into Cincinnati and almost pulled off a win. Three points there. Cincinnati got away with that one. Gino couldn't finish it off. Look for jo Josh Allen to finish him off. Bills plus two. Take the points. In Cincinnati on Sunday night. So, so recap, we're taking Minnesota as a dog plus four and a half in Atlanta. We're taking the Browns minus eight and a half in Zona. Sorry, at home to Zona. We're taking the Ravens at home minus five and a half against Seahawks. And then we're taking the dogs. That's right, Chanel, the dogs. Bills plus two and Dallas plus three is Box's best bet in the primetime slate. So once again, those are my picks. If you don't have time to hear me babble on, go to Box Talk Sports. That's at Box Talk Sports on Twitter. And you can see my picks there. See you next week.